Hi, welcome to Korean Mimi Mouse's Vlogs Point What. For this vlog, we will tackle about chapter 4 from the book entitled Nature's Number by Ian Stewart. So our chapter speaks about the concepts of change. So what is change? Change is constant. It is occurring continuously. The constants of change proves that numbers are not static, rather dynamic. In layman's term, it is open for change. So the constants of change is applicable in the change of temperature, fluids, motions, time, and mostly everything. The chapter mentioned about Ptolemy's theory, the planetary motion, of which it is observed that all heavenly bodies move around in circles or epicycles. In moving around, it is seen at different distances from the central body. Also, we have Newton's approach to motion, the motion of projectile of a cannonball, then the calculus of differentiation and integration. Stewart explains how detailed consideration of what happens to a cannonball for that of a cannon helps us towards Newton's fundamental law that force is equal to its mass times its acceleration. Newton invented calculus to help work out solutions to moving bodies. Its two basic operations, integration and differentiation, mean that given one element, force, mass, or acceleration, we can work out the other two. Differentiation is the technique for finding rates of change, while integration is the technique for undoing the effect of differentiation in order to isolate out the initial variables. Here are some examples. Acceleration is the rate at which velocity or speed is changing. If an object is moving with a constant velocity, then its acceleration is zero, since the velocity never changes. A projectile is any object that once projected or dropped continues in motion by its own inertia, and is influenced only by the downward force of gravity. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of change of the temperature of an object is proportional to the difference between its own temperature and the ambient temperature. As the seconds of our lives are ticking away, you have to realize the change is inevitable. Moreover, Arnold diffusion produces an extremely slow random drift in the relative orbital positions. In steady flow, the fluid passing a given point maintains a steady velocity. Liquids are generally incompressible that they don't change the volume. Generally, the density stays constant and it's simply the flow rate. Conclusion time! To summarize everything that we've discussed in this video regarding Ian Stewart's Nature's Zomber Chapter 4, Change is Indeed Constant. Newton's basic insights regarding the change that is happening in our nature can be expressed using mathematical expressions. In short, mathematics does not cause anything in this world. The world does not even know or even care about the Fibonacci sequence, the pi, or even the number patterns. These are all just the products of the human mind and nothing more. Basically, math is just a tool which helps to describe various real-world concepts. And by using these different mathematical tools, one can establish how various concepts are interrelated with each other or their relationship. 
And that would be all for today's lesson on Ian Stewart's Nature's Number Chapter 4, Constants of Change. We hope that you have learned something from us today. God bless always. Stay safe. Bye.